In some people's eyes, games are just for entertainment, but game fans will tell you what classic games bring to them are far more than that. SimCity teaches them city planning, Civilization teaches them history, and the masterpieces from Black Isle Studio even teach them what is philosophical thinking. Now more and more people gradually acknowledge the deep values of games for games' own sake. On the other side, some people are interested in other areas, but they see for the potential of games, and they believe games can motivate people's behaviors in the better world. So they combine game mechanisms into their own projects and hope to improve its performance in using game this far. Planet from Amazon Engagement Game Lab is a good example of that. This lab mainly research about civic engagement in the planning process. The traditional way to participate in the planning process is to attend a community meeting, but there are many shortcomings in the traditional way. At community planning meetings, it's a very select few people, and they're generally older people. Mm -hmm. You make your point, and then you go and sit down, and right there's not a feedback loop there. This people are not comfortable standing up in front of a group. So they create this game to improve its performance. In this game, there is a series of missions. Each mission requires players to answer a question or some questions about local issues. It could be multiple choice, commenting a local event, uploading images or videos about local scenes, or marketing your favorite place on the local map. After finishing each mission, you will get points or coins. You can spend these coins to support your favorite project that the community will develop in the future. In this way, everybody can participate in this community planning at any time. At the same time, you can also see other people's opinions and have a better understanding of, of your community. But some people doubt, even though using game this form, the basic procedure of the game is still to answer questions. Can this really appeal to more people? Jesse Philippi, the researcher of this lab, Russell Goldberg, the chief programmer of this lab, will tell us what kind of people this game appeal to and what's the real motivation behind this game. There are, there's a level of people who will always go to planning meetings mm. who are hyper involved and they're great, but they don't need the game to go to yeah. a city meeting. And then there's a level down below, like what you're talking about, of people who, who don't care, <laughs> but and who will never go to a meeting. Um, they are more interested in playing, you know, a fun game than if it has civic mm -hmm. content at all. But there's a really large swath, and yeah. especially even lower, like toward the people who <laughs> would never be involved. But we are trying to get uh, people who do want to talk about and share about their community, um, and. So we have shown that we are getting a different population of people. Although that specific part of answering the question might not necessarily be exciting, even though we're usually it, it usually is um, interesting enough because it is about those pe the people that are playing, it's about their community. This lab only creates a platform. It works with each community to create their own version of community planning to address their own local issue. Now they have worked with Boston Public Schools, the city of Quincy, Detroit, and some other cities. Asian Community Development Cooperation is a longtime partner of this lab, and it also helped launch the community planet in Quincy. Vivian Wu, the program director from ACDC, will tell us how local the We were not trying to address, you know, um, the whole U.S. economy, how people feel about unemployment. It was very local. It was about, um, you know, for for the beach in Quincy. What types of activities do people like to do there? Or, um, you know, what, what do people notice? Is it, there's not enough trash cans? Or um, is it not safe? No matter the people on lab side, Philippi, of the people on user side, Wu and Carl Allen, the program director in Boston Public Schools, all suggest that the outcome of using this game is encouraging. But um, they think it created like better information, so they thought that uh, it created better input to the city. It's still too late that we were trying something new, and it felt it felt more positive um, than that community meeting. It was less less arguing and yelling. Thirty-five to forty percent um, people under eighteen. That's a very um, 
That's a very big difference. Using game of internet is fun, it's a big advantage, but at the same time, people also worried in this environment, people will feel too casual and may generate too much irresponsible information. One of our participants in an interview put it very well, that even if you're not always making the most conscientious you know, uh, things that you're writing in that little reply box, that in fact something might stick. The idea even that you become used to voicing your opinion on civic issues um, in kind of within a platform that is related to powers of kind of institutional power, like that's a productive, can potentially be a productive thing. A lot of the habits and interests in civic participation may uh, be created at a young age. So um, that's an investment in the future leadership. And even if they do not live in Quincy for the rest of their life, they may um, you know, now be familiar and comfortable with um, civic participation and want to do that in, um, in college and in the, the other places that they will, um, they will live. So we think that there will be you know, secondary or, or ripple effects. Mm -hmm. Since this sense of participation is the purpose and motivation of this game, how can make people's opinions in the game be heard after the game becomes the question people concern most. We're actually written into like the contracts that we have uh, when we play when we launch this game with a partner. So they do know their voices are going to one particular place at least, even if they also may go to any other variety. We are thinking about moving forward ways to um, maybe having like a data literacy day after the program is done yeah. so we have all the data and, t and inviting local community organizations to kind of think yeah. through how they might use it. Normally the game will last 30 to 40 days in each community. After the game ends, there still will be a public meeting where people can come together to discuss the issue reflected in the game. Play it, uh, it's a process. The game doesn't stand on its own and in fact is layered on top of these existing community processes because we think that it is really important to connect it back to um, both offline interaction, um, even if it weren't a, a meeting like that, but also that it's important to kind of legitimate the processes of these games. Not that it's not enough, it's that in fact we've seen that it really increases people's trust to do both of those um, things. Sometimes at this meeting, the administrator of the community of the local government will also come, like the mayor of Quincy. Oh, well, they took the time out to be here. Um, that made me feel more confident that they might turn this into policy someday. Damien Solomon, the program director of Knight Foundation, one long-time sponsor of this lab highly praised this game. One of the more successful uh, because you know, this deals with a pretty clear issue right up there. We're trying to use technology to increase people online for study planning. Uh, but of course, facing this new way to increase civic engagement, different community has different response. I think that we should. Um, I don't know if there are others in the school district that necessarily would use it again. I think the people in the school district were, were concerned about the how much uh, how, how much little control they have over um, what how people interpret things and what you know, what people were commenting on in the game. Um, and so I think it made some people in the school district kind of nervous. We, we think that um, having a web platform is a, is a great way to um, replicate and scale the, um, the outreach and participation. And I know that um, there are lots of other towns and cities interested in doing this. Maybe the most important thing of this game is it starts conversation, makes people aware of other places in the city, the resources, and the people, and establishes the groundwork to do it again. It makes people realize that the planning process is not just for a few planners. It becomes a story that everybody can tell.